Most people assume that if they have automatic updates on for Windows 10 or any other Microsoft um, Windows version, that all the updates are going to be coming in fine and automatically and they don't have to worry about it. However, that's not always true. Sometimes updates are literally waiting to be downloaded and they want you to just click a button or two and get things started. So let's give a check for that. We're going to click on the start button. We're going to click on settings. We're going to go to update and security here at the bottom. And then make sure you're on the Windows Update tab. And then here we can see that indeed we have uh, a series of updates that are pending download. The download button prompting us to push them through, right? So a bit of a manual uh, need here to push these particular updates through. And then we also have an optional update in addition to these ones that, uh, you know, this 2020-09 cumulative update preview for Windows 10, blah, blah, blah. Uh, which we can also choose to download and install. So uh, let's do them in sets. We'll go ahead and click on download on the first set and let those go through. And when those have successfully updated, perhaps after a restart of the machine, then we will go ahead and do this download and install of the update preview. Now the system is ready to restart, so I'll go ahead and click on Restart Now. Now we'll go back in and into Settings update and security and we have that additional update so we'll go ahead click on download and install for that and while that's coming in a new update has appeared a new possible update a uh, feature update to windows 10 version 2004. So I can also click on that one. Although again, what I'll do is wait until this one here is done installing. Here it is done installing. I'll click restart now. It's best to do some of these large updates one at a time. Keep the system from, from um, you know getting too confused with everything, all the changes. So once again, into settings, update, make sure we're in the Windows Update tab. And I'm going to go ahead and push this new version through. And I would expect, since it's a new version of Windows, as it were, it's going to take a bit of time. Well, this really is taking its sweet time. So what I'll do is I'll just let it run through its course, reboot the computer, of course, when it's done, and just keep popping in and checking for updates until uh, I click and it says there are definitely no more. So uh, hopefully this has helped you out. Thanks for watching.